It was invented in the 50s and called Octopush because there were eight players on the team and you pushed the puck with a little stick and it also sounded a bit like octopus when you've had a drink. Nowadays there's six players on the team so the name's not nearly as funny. You don't need much equipment, just a swimming costume, hat, goggles, snorkel, flippers, glove, a little stick each and one puck. You flick the puck off the front of the stick and you, you, you pull the puck around on the bottom of the pool and then you flick it to other players. The game starts with the puck placed in the centre and the team swimming from either end to be the first to it. Then it's all about pushing and flicking it, which is tricky because it's rubber-coated lead and it weighs 1.3 kilograms. It can look quite complicated from above, but down below it's far more organised. Everybody in the team's got a role. Some people are moving forward, some people are in defence. You're rotating activities and you're rotating players all the time as well. Real skill is picking your moment to swoop down from the surface and take control of the puck till you run out of breath. You spot the play, you make your move and uh, you can then come up and have a fresh breath of air. Like most sports that we invented, other countries now lead the way. Octopush is big in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. But its chances of becoming an Olympic sport are limited because you can only see what's going on if you get in the water. The number one problem that's always going to be about the sport is it's not spectator friendly. There's been a couple of occasions in major championships where the spectators actually join the players in the pool, uh, they don their mask and they're actually in the water watching it. That's possibly the only way you get a decent view of the sport. And if you fancy a go, the British Octopush Association would love to hear from you and it's very hard to say that without sounding like Sean Connery. Jeremy Nicholas, East Midlands Today, Nottingham.